So this is it. This is the Missouri Comic Con Cosplay Contest. It's the main event. We love doing this the last thing on Saturday. Let's get going, starting with our judges. Please help me welcome to the stage. Uh, first up, he's coming in like a bat out of hell. Come on up, bat out of hell cosplay. Before we jump to our next thing, how many here are cosplay moms and dads? You have 
Yeah. How many cosplay aunts, uncles, grandmas? How many cosplay friends where you've had to hold somebody's drink for them up to their mouth so they can drink all that? Give yourselves a big round of applause because this kind of thing doesn't happen without your guys. It's not an easy job. All right, well, we're going to do a little bit of trivia. Here's how it's going to work. We have this side of the room, including our folks in line over there, versus this side of the room, including our friends over here that just walked across the stage. If you know the answer, shout it out, make some noise, get our attention so we can see, and we will keep track. The points are worth nothing, and you get absolutely nothing at the end of it. All right, Zach, you want to hear this first? Give us a trivia question. Absolutely. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll go with an easy one first. We're going with Snoopy, who matches himself as a flying ace in what war? World War I. World War I, I think Team One's got it. I heard it over there, good job. All righty. Oh boy, there's some more ones here. Yeah, that's a hard one, Jerry. I'm looking at someone like, no, no, no. All right. On the TV series Supernatural, what name do Sam and Dean use to find one another when they get separated? Nope, not Marco Polo. Nope. See, I got the hard one. I know. What? what? It is, no points awarded, Jim Rockford. Ooh. Oh. Rock that was a nice. tough one, to be fair. Of course, go ahead and mark an X through that one. <laughs> All right, guys, next up. Which Top Gun character is Captain Marvel's cat or floor cat? Goose. Hey, Goose, before he even had to finish it. Good job, that side of the room. All right. I'm just going to address this side. You guys are getting all the points. <laughs> all right, let's see. Ooh. Oh, there's so many good ones here, though. All right. Which of the following was not... Which of the following was not an original SNL cast member? All right, it's multiple choice. Your choices are A, John Belushi, B, Dan Aykroyd, C, Chevy Chase, or D, Bill Murray. It was D. Bill Murray was not an original. Sorry right, for crying my play. So we're looking at two one currently. All yes. right. Next up, who was the first cartoon character to get a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame? Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. Team one got it. They got it. I think Team one won the trivia contest. Good job, Team Woo! one. Says, no. oh. Player. Kids, be ready. You can hear your name. You ready to come on up, okay? All right, let's start with uh, Jared. Bat out of hell. Come on, what do you got? So, first up, we have Sage Alexander as 11. Woo! Get started. Woo! Good job, Sage. Good job, Sage. Come right up here. That is your award. Come right up here with me. We're just going to hang out here together. Eat some waffles. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Alright, oh. next we have Jeremiah as Deku All Might. Come on! Up, Jeremiah! <laughs> he runs straight to the prize bag. I told you. That's the gift. So I would do it. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Great job. Here you go. That is for you. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. And next we have. Alright, this word is for Brecken McGinnis as Clone Wars Obi-Wan. Yeah. Nice job. Alright, can I get our three kids cosplay contest winners to right over here to the front of the stage? Come right up here, guys. I'll have uh, you stand right there, Brecken. And there you go, and then right there. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your opportunity to get your cell phones. Take a picture of these cute kids cosplay winners. <laughs>
we are going to give one award that you guys get to give out. It's the fan favorite award. So when you see a cosplay that you absolutely love, we'll probably make a lot of noise. So please take another step across the stage because that was my All best. right, rewind. <laughs> Who do we have for the first? All right, ladies and gentlemen, cultists rejoice because we are joined by Stephanie, otherwise known as the Lamb. <laughs> So we have Lady Aguilar as the Mandalorian from Star Wars. Come on up. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't recall seeing that. You know, so. <laughs> Next up, folks, you know him. Go ahead and grab that ketchup. It's the Hot Dog Man. Next up, Gain, his methods 
might be suspect, but you can't argue, he gets results. Well, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Red Hood from DC Comics! Undertaker from WWE. 
Ladies and gentlemen, one more big round of applause for everybody for being on Masquerade. This half the room. All right, Hi. what we're going to do is a little. I know, isn't that crazy? I tried my best. Here we go. We're going to do a game called Name That Tune. The way it works, you will get a snippet of a song from all across entertainment pop culture. If you know the answer, you know the drill. Stand up, hip holler, get our attention so we can award those points that get you absolutely nothing at the end of the day. Are you guys ready? Does it make sense? Yes. Same rules apply this side versus this side. Go ahead and hit us with our first clip. Oh, they got it! Hey, they know that one. <laughs> good job, that was Rainbow Connection. Very good. Alright, what's our second clip? That was Billy Jean. So I think we got kind of a, like a left brain, right brain. Yeah, <laughs> these guys know trivia. If you want like something completely useless, go ahead. If you want something slightly less than useless, then you go. Alright, let's go to our next clip. Regular. Yes. That was Rob Zombie's Dracula. That's like, it's like three to nothing. Like, you guys are like, ah, we won the trivia, we're good. Yeah. Phone <laughs> it in. All right, what do we got next? Wow. <laughs> you guys are right, but they're faster. <laughs> good job, this side. <laughs> what? I think 
like my team got it. But... <laughs> this guy. All right, you ready? Your, your, yours got it. It was 1999 by Prince. I believe Team yeah. Alpha Beta Gamma Frog Quartet. Yeah. I demand a recount. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. You count tonight as you're killing the bed. You count your sheep. And whatever you come up with, that's what your team got, and it's going to be the losing side. So. <laughs> All right, we have our Masquerade Round winners. If you guys are in the Masquerade Round, listen for your names to be called. Where are we going to go first? We are going to start off with the fan favorites. This one that you guys chose. Ooh. And the winner is Hot Dog Man. Yeah. Hot Dog Man! In it.
folks. Next up, Pokemon fans, get your eye out because we've got Amber Baldwin as Sylveon from Pokemon. Now, folks, this cosplay is homemade in a lowly style, and the build book is available. Give it up one more time for Sylveon. Hello, come on over here. This is Hazel. As Mochi, this is an original character. This is a tan and red Shiba Inu. Good job. Good job. All right, again, next up, this one's pretty exciting. We've got Shannon Williamson as Fred Bear from Five Nights at Freddy's. So, folks, this one is hand built in the basement over COVID summer. They've been aging it as the costume naturally ages, give it that authentic, creepy taste. <laughs> One more time for Freddy Fazbear. We talked about this, you're not supposed to taste the cosplayers. <laughs> Next we have Lily, come on up Lily as a Kagamine as from Vocaloid, come on up. by this contestant. It took 66 total hours and is a combination of sewing and even some phone work. Give it up for Megan E. Hicks as Next we have Alexi as Alice from Alice in Wonderland. Come on up. Next up, guys, this next cosplay sewed the vest, pants, and undershirt 
crocheted the scarf and styled the wig. They then made the mace with Emma foam, foam clay, clear Christmas ball, and battery powered lights, all hand painted. Elijah, please welcome to the stage Audrey Asteroid as Pike Trickfoot from Critical Role. <laughs> We have Rock and Bull Terrier as Lakitu from Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> from Fire Emblem Three Houses. Come on up, Ethan. <laughs> All right, folks. Next up, this cosplay has a handmade jacket and shirt, styled wig, makeup, and handmade vampire teeth. Give it up for Allie Kay as Alucard. <laughs> Next, we have Leo coming to the stage as Tyler from the Adventure Zone. Come on up! And next up, guys, this cosplay is sporting a wig made out of yarn and dyed green and made the skirt out of and out of the shoes of the crown made all by herself. Leisha, please give it up for Jessica Pym as well. as Lamelia from My Hero Academia. Come on up. Hey, it's gonna play 
What's that? Thank you. Okay. What is your name? My name is Jessica. Jessica, what are you going to sing yeah. for us? I'm going to be singing tequila. <laughs> going to need your help. <laughs> Are you ready? Take it away, Jessica.
Jessica. Would you like to have a seat? Um, I want to I want to sing Edge of Night from Lord of the Rings. Yeah. All right. Woo! Get it. She's not after all. I mean, what's good? Okay, so <laughs> I don't sing. Home is behind the world, and there are many paths to tread through shadows, through the edge of night, until the stars are all aligned. Look at a bear shadows. I don't know the rest of it. What are you going to sing for us this evening? Uh, I don't know why I'm singing. But... <laughs> I don't either. It's great, buddy. What are we going to sing? So, I'm going to be singing as much as I can before my asthma kicks in. Uh, <laughs> That's a what great the world song. needs from a musical called Ride the Cycle. Okay. <laughs>
lettering makes sense, um, all the, the little details that went into it, but this backpack is functional. Like, yes, she made this backpack. Look, it's got all the things on it. Good work. You stay here, you can go to the other side wherever you want to go. Right. What do we have next? Up next is the best in class for armor. Armor. And we have come up with uh, Wally. <laughs>